Hey everybody, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings, and today we're going to be trying an export lager from Air, Ontario. Alright, so this is another beer that I got from my buddy Drew at Beer for Breakfast Facts for Snacks. It is Willibald Farm Brewery uh, Export Lager. Uh, unfiltered, lagered, eight weeks, superior quality. Uh, Air Ontario, 6.5% alcohol, so pretty strong for a lager. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to quickly address what I'm wearing here tonight. Of course, the Stanley Cup playoffs are on now. But I'm recording this a week in advance because I'm out of town for the weekend. So, <laughs> uh, hopefully I am wearing this to support the uh, Winnipeg Jets who are playing tonight and not just uh, drowning my sorrows after a tough end to the season. Um, no, they, tonight they are going to destroy the San Jose Sharks. And I was going to say clinch their playoff spot, but I think they still have to get one more point after that depending on what goes on with other teams. It's a it's a mess, uh, but we're not here to talk about hockey. Thank God. Uh, we're here to talk about this export lager. Now, um, Drew, who sent me this, he often talks about uh, how he doesn't like uh, lagers from uh, craft breweries. In fact, I saw a video that he did the other day where he poured some some beer down the drain that was like a lager from a craft brewery. I kind of get it because I find sometimes lagers from like lagers are tough to do and craft beers cost more. And then it's like, yeah, is it worth spending a little more on when really if you want a lager, you want something fairly simple. But this one is 6.5%. I think he sent me this, you know, out of love, not, uh, you know, take this garbage. Maybe it was sitting in his fridge for a long time and he just says, hey, Alan, take this, drink this. Uh, well, let's see what it says on the bottom here. This was packaged January 17th, 2023. So pretty fresh beer, only a couple months old. I guess, no, coming up. <laughs> coming up on three months old and will be for sure by the time this airs. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's uh, crack this open, see what it's like. All right, all right, all right. Very active looking beer. It's always hard to talk about the appearance of a lager because a lager, you know, generally they always look kind of the same, right? But that's uh, got a pretty good upside down snowfall, as Drew would say. Uh, so it's quite clear as you would expect a lager to be. Um, you know, once the activity settles down, I mean, you can see my face through there or not, but uh, <laughs> that's, that's the true side if you can see my face through the beer. Uh, yeah, nice uh, white head on it. Let's check out what it's like on the nose. Pretty nondescript on the nose, really. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a that kind of typical lager smell. I always find it hard with lagers to get any kind of real distinction on the nose of uh, of uh, uh, what's in there and like that. Um, yeah, hard to say. So let's go in for a sip. Uh, pretty decent. Um, it's got a decent body to it. Uh, really nice clean finish. Um, you can tell it's a little stronger than your typical lager. Uh, that's, I mean, it doesn't taste like super boozy or anything like that. Um, I, I was thinking almost like a malt liquor kind of thing before I tried. All right, camera one down. Uh, we, <laughs> I don't know. It's a technical issue. I don't know what happened. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the camera stopped working. So we're now doing the Drew Cam. Uh, we're on the Drew Cam now. Uh, all right. Where was I? I? I had taken a couple sips. I don't know if you got my full comment on it. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, I'll go in for another one. A fresh perspective on this. Yeah, nice bite up front. Uh, overall, a fairly good body on it. Um... It does taste a little bit stronger than your typical lager, uh, but that said, it's still it's still really good, and it's not like overly boozy, right? It's like, like, yeah, it's not super super boozy or anything. 
but it does it does taste just a touch a touch stronger. But yeah, that's a pretty decent beer. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that Drew did send me this one out of love and not a drink this crap that was in my fridge because this is a pretty good beer. Yeah, thank you, Drew. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, all right, thank you all for dropping by the Terry Isle Basement Pub. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you all again real soon. All right, cheers. Yeah, I'm tired and I need to go home. Been here all week, just drinking alone.